How's it going, people's YouTubes? My name's Christophe Soares, and today I'm going to be going over the new sampled uh, goblins and gnome cards for Hearthstone. So, at some point, I'm not sure exactly when, but there will be, as you can see right here, 122 new cards for the game that you can craft, win, or purchase. Blah, blah, blah. So anyways, I just want to talk with you guys a little bit about these cards. I'm really excited. I know I've heard um, from some streamers, I'm trying to think, uh, Raynad. I know Raynad was talking a lot about how boring Hearthstone's getting for a lot of people and how they really need to keep new cards coming because especially for players who stream um, or just play a lot in general, like maybe semi-pro or a little bit below that, you know, the kind of mediocre pro players. Um, they play Hearthstone a lot, and you get bored, you know, five hours, five days a week playing this game or more. So, uh, or just even if you just played 10 hours a week, I guess could get boring. But, anyways, I'm going to talk with you guys about some of the new cards that I find. Um, I found some of them very interesting. There's some that are really, really good. Um, so, let's start with the first one. So, it's a two cost, one, two. Um, Anoyotron. <laughs> that was the first card that I saw when I was looking at this earlier today, and I thought that was pretty funny. So it's a taunt with Divine Shield. Um, in my opinion, it doesn't seem too bad. It is a two drop though, so if it was a one drop, then it would probably be decent. Oh, because it only has one attack. Uh, it's. I don't think people are really going to be using this personally. I don't think a lot of pros are going to be using it. Okay, and then uh, 5 mana cost, Blingtron 3000, uh, Battlecry, equip a random weapon for each player, and it's a 3-4 for 5, though each player does get a weapon. Um, I think that a lot of these, oh yeah, by the way, a lot of these cards are RNG, like, up the butt, so there's a lot of RNG in these. This card, I don't think it's really going to get used at all either. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's alright, it's, eh. And then a 5, uh, 3, 3, deal 4 damage to a random enemy minion. Um, bomb Lobber. Uh, when I first saw this card, I thought that it might not be too bad. Because it is, it does throw out 4 damage, but it's still a 5 costing 3, 3. So I don't think that it's going to be really used either, personally. Not sure. Like it, And also I want to say, I'm not a pro at this game at all. I'm just starting to really try and get into her zone like before i was just getting into it you know and learning and i've learned a lot but now i'm like really trying to get into it so but yeah definitely not a pro um it's a one costing one one so that's okay you know and then a the boom bot the de um the death rattles deal one to four damage to a random enemy and that to me is actually pretty good because it's like a random enemy so even in late game if it does die it would uh, possibly do four damage to enemy enemy hero and if you needed to like finish them off or something but it really depends on the board um, if there's like if they have like three minions then it's like a one in four chance and it might only do one damage so I think that this one might have a possibility but it's still pretty RNG so let's see one costing Cogmaster has a plus two attack while you have a mech. This, I think, could be good if you were able to combo with like these. These are mech cards. Um, yeah, I mean, plus two, that's kind of nice, but it does only have two health, so I don't know. I mean, it would be a three, two, one drop, so possibly, but you would have to wait a few turns, so I don't, I don't know if that's that good. Dr. Boom, seven costing seven, seven, so that's all pretty nice. It's like a war golem, but actually has a battle cry. Summon two one one boom bots. Warning: boom bots may explode. So uh, this one, this one seems decent. It's not too bad. It is legendary, so I guess I would expect it to be somewhat good. Um, a four costing three two with a two health. I've always heard from Trump is like really bad, and I would probably agree with him because it's so easy to kill like low health. Um, and Hanso Mecha Meccano uh, Battlecry give your other minions Wind Fury, Taunt, or Divine Shield at random. This would be pretty good. 
Um, it would be very interesting to see. Um, <laughs> like your minions just get like if you have three minions on the board already, and then one gets like Wind Fury, one gets Taunt, one gets Divine Shield. Like that would be really interesting to watch. Um, but I don't know. The only way that this would really, I think that this might be really good in a Shaman deck, because Shamans tend to get like a lot of board presence. Um, and I'm also feeling like you might be able to see like, or you might see like a, a warlock with a whole bunch of minions uh, using this possibly, but I don't know. <laughs> um, explosive sheep deal two damage to all minions. This is pretty good for aggro. I think this you might see explosive sheep, which that's pretty funny. Um, flame cannon deal four damage to a random enemy minion for two. This four damage is nice, but it is random. But if you keep their board low enough, then you could end up only having a one in one chance of hitting one minion on the board, and it would do four damage for two. So it seems all right in my opinion. Um, a four costing five four. That's already like pretty decent. Um, Goblin blast mage. That'll cry if you control a mech. Deal four damage randomly split among enemy characters. This seems really good. This would definitely be used with a mech. I'm pretty sure that's like, that almost seems a little overpowered. Um, among enemy characters. Oh, okay, so it wouldn't be just the minions. So it could be the, uh, it would probably be, this would probably be better if it was enemy minions. But then, well, if they didn't have any minions, then that would suck. But anyways, okay, so five costing mad bomber. So this, is, this one's probably crazy. Battle cry, six damage, randomly split between all other characters. All other characters. Okay, so this is like the Oh, this is the Matter Bomber. So this is like the Mad Bomber, but it's Matter. Five costing five four. This one I think might be good in arena, actually, if this is an if it's able, which it probably will be in the arena. Um definitely not as good as this one, I don't think, but just that four I mean, the 4 health either way kind of sucks, but this one at least has less mana, so. Um, mech Warper, your mechs cost uh, 1 less, and it's a 2-3 for 2. So, I mean, this is this is a pretty good card, too. I mean, I don't know, you could, yeah, like with this, I mean, if all these, like, start costing 1 less, like, that's only a 2-drop. This card, I think, is really good. Um, 9 costing Mech Engineer. <laughs> Uh, Therma Plug. So he's a nine costing nine seven. Whenever an enemy minion dies, summon a leper gnome. This I think is too slow, in my opinion. Um, I don't know. I feel like it might be able to work, but we'll have to see with the pros. I mean, like like I said, the pros know way more about this game than I do, and have actually experimented with cards and could see probably better how this would fit in. But it's just a, it's a nine costing, like, I don't know. And it would have to be, like, enemies would have to die to even get the Leopardomes to make it worth it, which the Leopardomes might be worth it because they do direct two damage. So, I don't know. Um, two costing one, two, eh. Micro Machine, at the start of each turn, gain plus one attack. So, it's, this is kind of cool. Though the health isn't really that good, but it could be decent for like early game mech. So I think it could work. 5 costing 4 or 5, okay. Um, Mimeron's head. <laughs> at the start of your turn, if you have at least 3 mechs, destroy them all and form V07 Tron. So I saw the V7 Tron basically earlier, and it seemed pretty crazy strong. So this actually might. Well, this if you are gonna use Max, you definitely have to have this in your deck, and it does. It is. It only has one less attack than f like five for its mana cost, like lining up with its health. And if you already have like this, like a few other Max, I mean, look at like these lower costing Max on the field. Like that's probably going to be pretty decent. Um, but yeah, you definitely are gonna have to have that card. Four costing four three. Okay. Piloted Shredder, Death Rattle, summon a random two cost minion. This might be okay. Darnji might 
be not like not too bad with this because you would I mean you could even like summon this and that would be decent I I don't know I've I've seen some I've heard like before I did this video like earlier today there's some people who linked this and showed these cards and we're talking about them. the only problem that I have is the health is low um, but I mean it's a four costing like at least four or five four so I think it's decent um, this is another one the, the six costing six four piloted sky golem uh, death rattle summon a four cost minion this I think is maybe a little bit better possibly the first thing that came to mind was summoning a uh, Yeti and then now that I'm sitting here thinking about it what if it summoned an Argus I don't think you would get the taunt from it probably that would be tight though if you did but I don't think you would but if this summoned a Yeti that's I think that would be pretty strong so I'm wondering if you could maybe do like a uh, Druid nah I, I don't know what these mechs are going to most likely be in but Alright, so a 2, 3, 2. See, it sounds decent. Recom Bobulator. Uh, Battlecry. Transform a friendly minion into a random minion, minion with the same cost. So, this could be good. But it's really questionable. This is going to have to be really tested. Um, a 2 costing 3, 2 again. Uh, Shrink Meister. Battlecry. Um, give a minion negative 2 attack this turn. This, I think, could work for, like, Priest, possibly. Um, yeah, I, I think this one's alright. It's the A costing 5, 7. Eh. Shred old, sh or Sneed's old Shredder. Uh, Death Rattle, summon a minion, random, summon a random legendary minion. This was one of the first cards that I really looked at when I was going through, also, going through all these cards. And at first I was like, oh, that's pretty tight. But then I thought, well, I don't know. It might not be that good. Um, because if you get, like, I don't know. It's like some bad. Well, I guess all the legendaries aren't necessarily that bad. But I don't know if the five sevens worth the eight mana. This, this is probably too slow. But it could be crazy if you got, like, a Ragnaros. That would be insane. Um, three costing three four, so spider tank, and this is also a mech. This is pretty good. This is like a smaller yeti, which I was hoping that they would come out with something like that. I mean, yeah, it's the three costing yeti, smaller yeti, whereas the yeti is a four five. So, I mean, I, I think this is decent. Uh, definitely would probably see these. Uh, two costing unstable portal. Uh, add a random minion to your hand. It costs three less. This I don't think is gonna be that good. I don't really think anyone's gonna play that, but we'll see. Five costing five five. Um, upgraded repair bot. This is probably one of the strongest cards in this whole um, thing. This says battle cry. Give a friendly minion, a uh, friendly mech plus four health, and that is just like insane. Cause if you have like this, the spider bot, um, two turns before or something or like the piloted golem and you get a plus four it's a six eight and it already oh okay let's say this one yeah like this is a turn before someone another two two and i don't know or yeah it's just like or with this the mech warper like that's gonna be like so strong and then this is the v7 tron um charge okay so it's like al alakir uh, Mega Wind Fury. When I first saw that, I was like, Wind Fury. I was like, wait, Mega Wind, Mega Wind Fury. I was like, what? It can attack four times in a turn. And it's eight costing four eight. I think Alec here is a three five charge Wind Fury with Divine Shield. So, okay. You know, that, that is de definitely different. But this can attack four times. So, if your enemy doesn't play very many taunts like they're gonna get so destroyed by this because if this comes into the field with so let's see what would you do so you play this at the start of your turn if you have three mags yeah so it's like you play this oh wait no you'd play this oh I think what happens is you play this 
If you have three mechs, destroy them all. Oh, and they have to wait until the next turn. And then this guy gets summoned, I believe. Yeah, because it would be at the start of your turn. So, but still, this guy comes on the board, like, he literally could hit for 16 if they have no taunts. Like, that's just insane. Alright, anyways, I like that card. It's pretty cool, even though it might not be that good. But, I don't know, we'll see in the future. Uh, three costing Valens Chosen. This is a pretty interesting card. It's a give a minion plus two, plus four, and uh, one plus spell damage. So, in my opinion, this could be decent. It's probably one of the better upgrade cards. You'd probably see this more used than like any other um, upgrade card. Also, I think this is a neutral card, so obviously, because I think all the upgrade cards are like for the class specific, but I don't know for sure. But I think this one's decent, so yeah, definitely out of all of these, I would say upgrade repair bot is just insane. Spider tank, definitely gonna see that. Like, I'm pretty sure this for the summoning of the V7 Tron. Uh, Micro Machine, possibly. Um, Goblin, Blast Mage, probably. Mech Warper, probably. Um, Hanso Mechanic, or Mechano, probably. Um, with the, in the combination with the Mech Warper. And then Explosive Sheep, probably. Um, Cogmaster, probably. Um, and then probably with the Boom Bot. I don't know, you might... Yeah, I don't know. This, yeah, I, I'd probably say those those ones are probably the most, but anyways, I'm going to stop rambling, guys. I feel like I'm going on for too long. Hopefully you're still with me. Um, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I have videos out every week. And thank you guys for your support. I appreciate, like always, just watching me is supporting me and makes me feel good and like i'm actually doing something you know <laughs> i don't know it's pretty cool though um anyways guys uh guess i'll catch you in the next video i hope peace hearthstone so fun